functions of wholesalers to producers and consumers. Hmm, I'm sorry we'll have to take lots of breaks because I am juggling between you and my work. Absolutely. I completely understand. Good. So, where were we? We were just about to start talking about the functions of a wholesaler. Oh, yes. A wholesaler has a lot of functions towards producers, retailers, as well as consumers. I already know about functions of retailers to producers, wholesalers, and consumers. I can't wait to compare it with the wholesalers. Hmm. Then let us begin with their functions to producers, shall we? By all means, Mr. Chola. For one, we buy goods directly from the producers. So where do you get all these bales of clothes? Directly from the factory. And you buy a lot of them, I suppose. Bales and bales of clothes. And by doing so, we save the factory the burden of storing the clothes themselves. In other words, you create more space for more clothes for the factory. That is right. Now, secondly, when we do advertise our products, in some way, we are doing the same for the producers. I understand. The same product that you are marketing is the same one that the producer is manufacturing. Yes. By extension, the more people who buy from you, the more the producer will produce the goods. Nicely put. You have explained it so well. Now, wholesalers also help finance producers. By paying for the goods promptly. Exactly. Producers need the money that they get from wholesalers to continue with running of the business on a day-to-day basis. Now, moving on, wholesalers also act as a link. Can I explain that one? Yes, go ahead. Of course, in the chain, Mm -hmm. wholesalers are in between producers and retailers. Therefore, they act as a link between the producers and the retailers, as the goods produced by the producers reach the retailers through them. Good. And finally, the goods reach the consumers via the retailers. Yes. Good work. Now, wholesalers also offer protection to producers. Protection? Against Mm -hmm. what? Against risks associated with holding stock. Oh, yes. Now I understand. Mm. Stored goods may be destroyed by calamities such as fire, water, or they may even be stolen. And not to mention that when goods are stored for too long, the demand for them might reduce, or worse, they may become obsolete. Mm. Did you know that wholesalers also advise producers? Tell me about it. Well, wholesalers are much closer to consumers than producers are. They are therefore in a better position to carry out research on the market and come up with market trends. Which they communicate to the producers so that the producers can adjust along those lines. Yes, I'm loving this conversation already. You are a very lovely student. Thank you. I hear that a lot. Lastly, have you ever heard of utility? Yes, the ability of a product to satisfy human wants. Wow, your parents must be very proud of you. Very bright. Just trying my level best. So, we have utility of place, time, form, and position. Uh huh. And out of them all, we only need to talk about place utility. You wanna go on? Yes. Place utility is created when goods are transported from the place of production to the place of consumption. Correct. Wholesalers help the producers increase the utility of goods by transporting them closer to the consumers. And that is all about the relationship between wholesalers and producers. Next. Next, we can talk about the relationship that wholesalers have with the consumers. Ah, a very important function that wholesalers perform in maintaining a steady supply of goods. How is that important? When supply is steady, the prices stabilize And so there is no shortage of goods. I see. Now, through wholesalers, consumers also get to find a variety of goods to choose from. And so the consumers only go for what works best for them. That's right. Wholesalers also relieve consumers on the burden of buying goods from different producers. Please explain. Well, how many producers do we have as compared to consumers? Definitely, there are more consumers than producers. Good. 
And these producers are also located in different parts of the country. So if consumers were to go directly to the producers... I get it. Yeah. You would travel to Mombasa for coconut products, go to Turkana for oil, go to Nairobi for clothes and electronics and so on, for example. Who has that much time anyway? My point exactly. Wholesalers also provide information to retailers who then pass it to consumers. Mm-hmm. Therefore, consumers are informed on products through them. That too is self-explanatory. Mm. Wholesalers buy goods in bulk from producers and break them into smaller quantities, which consumers could even buy directly from wholesalers. Case closed. Let me assist some customers. I'll be back. Sure.